This is a video to teach you how to contribute to the ArduPilot documentation. Um, most ArduPilot users would be familiar with our documentation website, but many users wouldn't know how to make small contributions to the documentation to benefit uh, all users. So uh, I hope this video will help with that. So we're going to start with the ArduPilot.org homepage, and then we're going to go to the documentation link to take us to the main documentation site. And this site covers all of the different vehicle types that ArduPilot supports. For this particular example, I'm going to make a small edit to the plane documentation. So I click on plane here and I go to the documentation and we're going to go down into the flight features section of the documentation. And inside here, uh, we're going to go to a feature called the channel output functions. Um, and add a, a small change in here that I've been meaning to make for a while, but that uh, I just haven't got around to, and I thought this, this tutorial would be a good way to show you how to do that. Uh, so the change I'm going to make in here is uh, to make it clearer what these uh, values here are for, these RC pass-through. And uh, they allow you to pass through uh, any arbitrary RC channel onto an arbitrary output. It gives you more flexibility than normal pass-through. And down in this part of the documentation here, um, we do explain about RC pass-through, but we don't talk about the ability to pass through arbitrary channels. We only talk about passing directly through from the same input channel to the same output channel. All right, so we're just going to add an extra paragraph in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, to edit this page and make a contribution to the documentation, um, I'm going to click on the Edit on GitHub button, which appears at the top right corner of every page in our documentation. And that is the inv inv invitation for users of ArduPilot to contribute to our documentation. So let's click on that button. So when we click on that button, it takes us to the GitHub site now, rather than the original site. And on the GitHub site, we're now seeing the source code for that page, which is what's called a RST file, standing for restructured text. And over here, there's a little button, which is a uh, like a little pencil, and that's for editing the documentation. Now, this button is only active once you uh, have a GitHub account. So I've created myself a Tridge2 GitHub account. Normally I'm known as Tridge, but I've got Tridge2, which has no special privileges. So it's not a manager of the account or anything like that, just so it's like a, an end user contributing. The only thing I've done is I've created this GitHub account and I have um, verified my email. You do need to verify your email address before you can edit. So if you go to your settings page and look under emails, you'll see that this email address is green and it, it doesn't say um, needs to verify. So you do need to verify your email address with GitHub before you can start editing pages. All right, so I'm logged into the GitHub account and we're ready to start an edit. So I click on this, fork this project and edit the file. What that means is it's going to take a copy of the ArduPilot documentation and put it under the Tridge2 account so it can be edited. So let's click that, that button. All right, and there it is. So we now have an editor showing the, um, this page in its source format as restructured text. So, and we've also got the ability to preview changes to see what it's going to look like once we've made the edit. So let's go back to the edit button. And then what I'm going to do is scroll down to the part of the page that I want to edit. And uh, here it is. And so um, what I'm going to do here is uh, add an extra paragraph that describes how you can set um, uh, individual channel mappings. So let me just write that paragraph.
All right, so I've explained that uh, change. So I've said that you can also map individual channels to any output channel by using the specific channel mapping functions. These are numbered starting at 51. So for, um, for RC channel input one. So you can, for example, set servo 11 function equals 53, which will map RC input channel three uh, to output channel 11. All right, so that's explained. It gives people enough of a hint to get them started with this, um, with that capability. And so now all we need to do is um, tell uh, the editor that we now want to save this change and we can put in a comment here. And I'm going to prefix it with plain colon to indicate this is a change to the plain documentation. Um, added docs uh, on per channel RC pass through mapping. All right, good. Uh, so that's all good. And we can now propose that change to the file by basically clicking the function here, propose file change. And that will go across as a pull request in GitHub. All right, so there we have, that's the proposed change here. And the part in green is what we're adding. All right, so there it is. And uh, let's click on create pull request. So that will now get created for review by the RGPilot uh, documentation maintainers. Let's click on create pull request and it's got, we can put additional comments in here if we want to. And I'm gonna say, this is a PR as a demo for how to edit RGPilot documentation. All right. And I'm gonna now click on the create pull request and that pull request has now appeared in the list of pull requests for the ArguPilot documentation. So you can see that the most recent pull request is this one that we've just created. And then a member of the ArguPilot development team will be able to comment on this pull request or accept it and merge it into the uh, ArguPilot uh, documentation. So that's it really. It's very simple to get started with editing the ArguPilot docs. And we really greatly appreciate uh, users who do update the documentation. So if you notice something that could be improved, you notice a wording that could be made clearer, or you're good at uh, making nice diagrams, you like to contribute diagrams, then we'd really encourage you to get involved in the project by uh, improving our documentation. Uh, thank you very much.